So I'm now looking at adding Firebase option to this Svelte full stack example. So what I've done is I've created a new Firebase project and um, I'm going to set up the uh, CLI, which is the Firebase CLI. Um, so I've installed that here. So let's just follow along with the tutorial. So I've done that. Add static assets to your hosting project folder and set up cloud functions or cloud run. So you can test your app on Firebase serve. Okay, there's something here as well. So uh, let me just uh, click on this here. We're already hosting a Netlify, but you know you could also host a Netlify and then point the functions to um, Firebase. But I think the option will people prefer just to use it, everything on Firebase. So let's just see what I do. I've got the CLI installed, installed your project. So. I'm still working on the kind of Netlify stuff as well, but um, we'll keep doing them both in parallel. So we're just going to go over to here and I'm going to just type in Firebase in it. Command requires authentication. All right, let's do that. Okay, so I've actually logged into Firebase, but I'm not going to show you that sensitive string there. Right, so let's see what else we do next. So, so Firebase in it. About to initialize a Firebase project in this directory. Which Firebase feature do you want to set up for this folder? So, do you want a database? Deploy Firebase real time database. Okay. Um, to stall rules for creating indexes of Firestore, okay. Configure and deploy cloud functions. Configure and deploy Firebase hosting sites. Deploy cloud security rules, emulators, set local limits. Well, that sounds good. Right. Uh, let's also project with directory. So I want to use an existing project. Add Firebase to existing Google Cloud Platform project. Create a new add to existing project. I want to use this uh, full stack starter. Firebase real time database will allow you to find how data should be structured. So, um, if I saw it to the project, Firebase real time database rules allow you to find how data should be structured and uh, what files should be for database rules. Okay, I don't have one. Database rules for Svelte full stack that have been downloaded to this one. Future modifications to this one will update it, which will run deploy. Cool. Error cloud resource location not set for project, but operation you're attempting from the cloud requires it. Please read this documentation for more details. Right, so. So now we've, um, what, what we have to do in the documentation, we need to set up a storage location for this stuff. So I guess we have to go into here <clears throat> and it says get started. So set up cloud storage, secure rules for cloud storage. Right, so by default, the rules allow all reads and writes from authenticated users. After you define your data structure, you will need to write rules to secure data. So secure Firebase storage, blah, 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 blah. Okay, next. Your location setting is where your default cloud storage will be stored after you set. So this uh, default location is like shared amongst like Firebase, Google Cloud Platform, Google, Google App Engine. So after you set this location, you can't change it later. The location will be able to start location for that. Okay, so let's just do a, a London-based one, I guess. So it'll be Europe, um, uh, Europe West, I guess. Um, don't need multi-region. Let's just do Europe West too. Done. Creating default bucket. So this is I'm gonna run the same thing again, Firebase init. Uh hopefully let's see if it's added anything to our project firstly. So let's just see. Firebase user store, that's something I've done. Oh now we've got this thing called database rules. So read, write, visit, just one more security files. Okay, so let's go back to here. Right, so we have um this thing. Let's go back and run that command again. Ah oh dear, got the OS again.
What file should for index is this one? Functions directory will be created in your project with Node.js package pre-configured. Function can be told of Firebase deploy. What language you want to use to write cloud functions? JavaScript or TypeScript? Are you kidding me? TypeScript out of the box? Well, let's just use TypeScript because people like it. Do you want to use TS link to catch problem box and force style? Yes. Um, wrote this, this, this. Do you want to install dependencies now? Yes. Oh dear me. Oh, Long Johnson. Right, so what did it do to my project? Deary me. So what's it done? It's created a bunch of files here. Um, da, da, da. We're kind of mixing up all the Netlify stuff and the Firebase stuff in one file, which we'll just have to put up with for now. So let's just look at the changes. So I always like to do that. Right, so, oh, there's another one. Uh, your public directory in, is, is the folder relative to your project directory that will contain hosting assets to be uploaded with the Firebase deploy. If you have a build process for your assets, use your build output directory. Do you want to use, what do you want to use as a public directory? Uh, yeah, public's fine. Configure it as a single page app, rewrite all your URLs, of course. Public index already exists, overwrite, no. In fact, let's just say yes and see what it does and then revert back. Because I'm curious. Uh, there's, a, there's a big wizard. There's Firebase storage security rules allow you to define how and when to allow uploads and downloads. You can keep these rules in port directly. What files should be used for storage rules? That's fine. Okay, which Firebase <laughs> emulators do you want to set up? Play space, select emulators and enter to confirm your choices. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think Scotland should become independent. Okay, so which Firebase do you want? Which port do you want to use for the Functions Emulator? That's fine. What port do you want to use for Firebase Emulator? That's fine. Yes, 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 yes. Nice work, Google. I'm impressed. Right, so let's just look at what this has actually changed. So. Right, so we've got this get ignore file, ignore JavaScript and typings, node modules. I need to add that too anyway, let's just see. Into my functions directory. Ah, but I was gonna use that for Netlify functions. So this isn't this send contact emails the uh, Netlify one. So I'm gonna have to think about how I'm gonna split this up a bit. I hope I have, hope I have different folder directories for Netlify and for um um yeah, I think I'll just create another folder for that. Functions Netlify. And we'll move that one next to the one that makes all the commit messages up together here. Right, so let's see what we've changed. So we've got this database rules. Um, Firebase debug log, okay. Database rules, Firestore, that's another thing I'm working on. Firebase indexes, Firebase rules, index, okay, index TS, import as functions from Firebase functions. And we've got a new package JSON which is inside the functions, okay. And the function, the, the npm script here is including TSLint TypeScript Firebase functions test and Firebase admin, Firebase functions and we've got a TS config which is normal stuff here right so um, and storage rules I want to add that as well and let's just uh, move this send contact email out to the other one here so it's going to move that here okay and now this should be in its own directory that's Firestore Firebase stuff, and then also want to update the Netlify Toml just to see that uh, functions is now inside of um, this one. So it's just functions Netlify. I haven't covered this bit in another video yet, but I'll do that. I'll do that soon. All right. So let's just see what's going on here. So I've got these files already done, and this ought to be coming a long video, and we'll do another video part two for this thing soon. Bye bye. Oh.